Davosity itself has been a well-documented subject. Still, one of the reasons Davo has become well-known is because of the transformation over the last several years. However, this transformation has not reached all areas of Davo. Therefore, the safety inside and outside of the city is a questionable subject. At this current moment, some governments warn against travelling to particular parts of the Philippines. This is often due to terrorism and clashes between insurgent groups. For example, the UK government alerts the public to only travel unless it's essential, but in addition, they advise against all travel to the south and west of Davao Island. The US Department of State has documented nine explosions and bombings over the last few years and many of these were located in Mindanao. To summarise, the most significant factors to be made aware of if you plan to live outside of Davao City is the current safety concerns. However, millions of expats visit and live in the Philippines and most of these stays are trouble free. In general, the cost of living in Davao is fantastic. If you are looking to save money living in the Philippines, you will find many opportunities outside of Davao City. From my experience and cost of living, I found prices outside of Davao City to be around 15 to 20% cheaper than inside the city. Therefore, as a rough guideline, if you estimate your monthly expenses to be around about $1,000 when living inside Davao City, your living expenses outside of Davao City will be around 800 US dollars a month. In the smaller provinces and towns, travelers will unlikely find any corporate businesses. Most often the businesses are local and family operated. Nonetheless, there are many brands and well-known businesses in the larger cities across Davao Island. One piece of advice I would give for those living outside of Davao, whether they are a local Filipino or a foreigner, is to avoid travelling solo unless you are confident that you will be safe at all times. It has to be mentioned that over the years there have been several reports of kidnappings across Davao and these are both of locals and of foreigners. Thus, as there is safety in numbers, it's recommended to avoid any solo travel in certain areas. As an expat living in Davao, it's best to decide on what attractions, features and living experiences are essential to you. This will help you decide on where to live in Davao. While travelling or living outside of Davao City, it is likely that you will be looked at from time to time. I've had times where people have come to touch my skin and just come to say hi and to talk. Most often, this is in the less well-known areas of Davao. Locals do not do this out of disrespect, but instead more out of curiosity. In some cases, especially with the younger generation, you may find that you are the first white or black man that they have ever seen. So it's best just to go with it, be friendly and say hi back. 
The standard practice applies when living outside of Davao, similar to the rest of the Philippines. These practices include don't boast about wealth, avoid addressing elderly by their first name, do not disrespect local customs or Filipinos, avoid staring or other aggressive body language, and so on.